Hi guys, it's Miss Hampton. Uh, we're gonna be taking notes on expanded notation today. So you'll wanna title the top of your page. This is the right side. The next page, expanded notation. This is something you should be pretty familiar with from third and fourth grade. Um, expanded notation is basically the sum of the value of each digit. So we're gonna write that little definition right here. Sum of value of digits. Okay, so I'm gonna put an example number up in this place value chart. You should have gotten one of these from your teacher. If you did not, take a second, pause the video, and draw it out so you have somewhere to write your number. It's gonna be uh, two in the ones place and 635 thousandths. Okay. So we're gonna take, um, I'm gonna use four different colors. If you like to do your notes in colors, you can do that too. If not, just use pencil. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write out in words what each number is worth. So this two is worth two ones. So I'll take one of my colors and write it there. Then our six is in the tenths place, so it is worth six tenths. So I'll write added together with six tenths. Our three is in the hundredths place, so it's worth three hundredths. And our five is in the thousandths place. So we'll add on to the end five thousandths. So all I've done is taken each number and write it with the name of the place value position that gave me the value of each digit. Now we're gonna take each of these things that I've written out in words and write it as a fraction or a whole number in the case of the two. So two ones is the same thing as two. Six tenths as a fraction, exactly how it sounds. Six tenths. Three hundredths I'll also write as a fraction. Three hundredths and five thousandths. All right, is five thousandths. All these things added together equals our number two and six hundred thirty-five thousandths. All right, now we can do the same thing with uh, decimals. So I'll label these right here that we wrote them as fractions. And let's do the same thing on the next line, writing each one as a decimal. So two is still a two. Our six tenths, we can write as a six in the tenths place. If you forget where that is, look up at your place value chart. It'll be exactly like this number with a six in the tenths place, but everything else is a zero. So we're gonna write zero in the ones place, six in the tenths place. Our three hundredths, we'll do the same thing. Keep your three in the hundredths place. Everything that comes before it was a zero. Zero, zero, three hundredths, and five in the thousandths place. There'll be two zeros after that decimal. All these things added together equals your original number. So these are not expanded notation. These are expanded form, which you've done when you were younger. Expanded notation takes these and breaks it apart one more step. So it's gonna be each digit times the value of the place value position. It sounds kind of confusing, but it's not too hard. I'm put a line under here. And now this is gonna be our expanded notation. Okay, so the first one, we're gonna take our two. Same number we wrote here. Now we're gonna multiply that by the value of its place value position. It's in the ones place. So the value of ones place is one. Our six is in the tenths place. So we're gonna write that as 
six times one tenth because it's the tenths place. You can write that as a fraction or a decimal. Normally you see it as a decimal, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'll just put a one in the tenths place. The six times one tenth is gonna give me the six tenths that I had up here, or the six tenths that I had up here, or the six tenths that I had up here. And my three is in the hundredths place, so I'll say the value is three times the hundredths place. So I'm gonna put a one in the hundredths place. And this would equal my three hundredths. My last one is gonna be my five. It is in the thousandths place. So I'll multiply it by a one in the thousandths place. All these things together will add up to this, and all these things together will add up to your original number. They all equal the same thing. So one more note to write at the bottom is to write each digit times the value of its place. That's how you get from expanded form to expanded notation. Write each digit times the value of its place. All right, I'm gonna give you one number to put over on your left side for you to try. Try writing it in words, fractions, decimals, and then expanded notation. Okay, so your number is gonna be similar to this one. We'll do four and 369 thousandths. Good luck.